Oranzi adds soul to surrealism, art appreciation course. With an Afrocentric viewpoint book 6 by Oren Belgrave, author Oranzi had always been a lover of art, and he had a particular affinity for the works of Salvador Dali. He would spend hours poring over Dali's paintings, marveling at the surreal landscapes and bizarre imagery that filled the canvas. So, when he heard that a wax figure of Dali was up for auction at the Movie Land Wax Museum, he knew he had to have it. Oranzi bid fiercely at the auction, eventually emerging as the proud owner of the Dali wax figure. He placed it prominently in his own wax museum. The Oranzi Black Facts and Wax Museum. At times, he would look at it and gain inspiration. But as he continued to study the surrealism movement, Oranzi noticed a glaring omission, there was a distinct lack of representation of people of African descent in the genre. It seemed as though surrealism was a world populated solely by Europeans. Determined to change that, Oranzi set out to create a new book called Oranzi Adds Soul to Surrealism. He spent countless hours researching and writing, delving into the history of surrealism and exploring ways to infuse the movement with his own unique perspective. The book was a labor of love, and Oranzi poured his heart and soul into every page. He included his own original artwork, incorporating images of African American culture and history into the surreal landscapes that he created. The book was a sensation, hailed as a groundbreaking work that pushed the boundaries of the surrealism movement. Oranzi became an overnight sensation, with art lovers and critics alike clamoring to see his work. But for Oranzi, the most rewarding part of the experience was knowing that he had made a difference. He had given a voice to people of color in a genre that had long overlooked them, and he had inspired a new generation of artists to follow in his footsteps. And as he sat in his studio, gazing at the Dali wax figure that had inspired him to embark on this journey, Oranzi knew that he had truly made his mark on the world of art.